vlogging once a week. Ha! Hi, courageous ones. It is day 11 of the Savvy Sexy Social Vlog Every Day in April Challenge. Unbelievable. There was a time probably 11 days ago when I thought vlogging once a week was too much for me. Now, that's a picnic. Today, I decided I'm going to be cooking some Thai food and I'm getting a recipe from the Chiang Mai Cookery School. What is it called? Yeah, from the Chiang Mai Cookery School cookbook. This is the school where I took my first international cooking class abroad that was instrumental for me coming up with the idea for Cooking Up Adventures, where I go around the world and learn how to cook in people's homes. Yes. Now I'm going to drive to one of my favorite Thai markets, small market in uh, Thai town, so we can buy the ingredients. Oh, what am I going to make? Chicken with ginger. Let's go pick up the ingredients. Shall we? While we're driving over there, I thought it'd be a good time to tell you some of the places that I've been to where I've actually filmed myself cooking in people's homes. First place was actually Thailand, where I learned how to make pad thai. In Vietnam, I learned how to make pho and spring rolls. And in Peru, I learned how to make lomo saltado. In Puerto Rico, I learned how to make arroz con gandules with my family. In Colombia, I learned how to make a stew called ajiaco. The dish calls for Thai chili, 35 cents worth. Oh, I like this place, ginger. Found the ginger. Pre-peeled garlic. Spring onion. Spring onion. <gasps> no, that's lemongrass. Mm. Spring onion. Small onion. The fish sauce, oyster sauce, and soy sauce. Fish sauce, soy sauce, all for sauce. Oyster sauce. The owner of this market also owns a restaurant. He has a few recipes here, and then he tells you what aisle you can find the ingredients. Smart businessman. And on Easter Island, I learned how to make fried fish. So you might have looked at my channel and said, wait, I didn't see any videos with you cooking in those countries. I know. That's because the footage to those countries is sitting in my closet. So why is the footage in your closet, Ruth? Yeah, well, I've got plenty of excuses. It wasn't shot on a professional camera. The footage, a lot of it is like maybe 10 years old, so I look totally different. I shot it myself, so it probably isn't gonna make sense. And I need an editor. I can't afford an editor. I have to digitize the footage, which I don't have time for, and I don't even know how to do that. Who am I kidding? No one is gonna be really interested in this footage anyway. Who am I kidding? It's in DV, did I mention that? DV, do you, you, don't, you might not even know what that is. You know, we could say, oh, those are just your fears talking but I actually think it's something a little more specific that I don't value what I have I don't value the footage I have I mean it's really cool footage I mean I haven't looked in it forever I'm in another country cooking with locals I didn't think it was good enough in fact I just took it for granted uh, yeah if I can do this anybody can so it sat and sat and sat but always in the back of my mind cooking up adventures that show you did nothing about until recently and the reason for that is a whole other story that I'll share with you at another time I feel so much better about the future of cooking up adventures right now especially because of the beta challenge I've had to put out content every day my perfectionism cannot survive this I cannot survive but I'm actually doing it so what I wanted to let you know is that I've decided to start digitizing that old footage as imperfect as it is if I share those cooking and travel experiences with you. Regardless of how bad the footage looks or what anybody else thinks, that's gonna make for a much better story. Thanks so much for listening. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what talents or projects you might be taking for granted that you could be sharing with the world. Bye. All those ingredients, including a half a pound of chicken, cost $8.24.